Greetings. I acknowledge speaking from the unceded territories of the First Nations, renamed Vancouver on colonization. My name is Sultan Somji. I'm an ethnographer and writer. I will be reading from one who dreams is called a prophet in Voices of the Community Peace Museums in Eastern Africa. Illustrations are from the graphic novel Alama's book, The Oracle Speaks, and from the Community Peace Museum of the African Child Soldier in South Sudan. What is humiliation in Swahili? Asked little Alama. Humiliation is Tia Aibu, meaning put shame on the other, said his grandfather. Humiliation is Tia Uchungu, meaning put pain on the other. Humiliation is Wunja Heshima, break self-respect. Make the other feel he's not human. See Biladamu, that is, he's without Utu. Without Utu, he's not Utu, a person. He does not belong to the community, and the community does not belong to him. He's nobody. Little Alama never forgot this word. But what is Utu? Utu means being, mm, being Utu, or simply being human. That means keeping the dignity of nature, the community, and most important, the human body. When tormented by humiliation, Alama the warrior could not sleep, for humiliation pursues revenge. Humiliation during conflicts is triple trauma. It breaks the human body, community, and nature. This is the broken human body of the child soldier. He is broken in every part you can think of. This is the community this uprooted from their homes, villages, and destruction of nature. Healing the broken body, community, and nature is reconciliation. This is Atim Onen who drew that picture of the broken body of the child soldier that she has it over here and is talking to a group of child soldiers and they are carry, carrying forward the discussion to the evening at Wango, which is a gathering place for, for talking. And this is uh, reconciliation is restoring Utu after triple trauma of conflicts. So here you have the reconciliation ceremony. There's a young man here who's tying green beads on the wrist of another young man. The elder here is holding a branch of a peace tree and he's also holding a peace staff which is made from a peace tree. There's a sacrificial uh, lamb over here and the whole community has gathered to witness. And these are three childs former child soldiers, now adults, they are meeting for to reconcile with their bodies, with nature, with the society, under the Olvedo tree. They are also holding the leaves of the Olvedo tree, which is a peace tree. Asantani, thank you.